Hi, welcome, Simon here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be upgrading additional RAM to this MSI gaming laptop. Here I have 8GB DDR4 and the original RAM on the laptop is only 8GB so I'll be adding additional 8 and make it to 16GB. Alright, let's go ahead and identify the model here. Turn it around, it says GF63 Thin 11S C. I need to break the seal. The factory seal is right here. There's a screw hidden underneath. This laptop is pretty brand new, so but I do need to upgrade the RAM. And here we go. I'll be using a regular Phillips screwdriver. Let's go ahead and remove all the screws here. We need to get into the computer by removing the back plate. There are three screws on the very top. And here is the factory seal screw that we need to remove. It looks like all the screws are the same size. If you mix match the screw, I think it is okay. Some of the uh, computer have different sizes in screw. You need to make sure you, you match it in the right position. All right, so I have removed all the screws here. And the next step is to go ahead and remove the back cover. To remove the back cover, I need to position the corner right here. Okay, I'm kind of holding it the corner. I'll be using a plastic prying tool so that when I run across the laptop, it doesn't give a, a scratch on it. If I use the metal, it will scratch the plastic. Okay. Here you want to pay a little bit closer attention to it because the um, auxiliary jack is still intact to the thing and I do not want to lift it up and damage the entire motherboard. And that has to be, be careful with the auxiliary jack. See if I can work around it by going from the front and then come back to the other corner. Okay, I find it is much easier to Lift it up on the, well depending on how you look at it, if it's here, I'll lift it on the right side. It's easier to lift it up from the right and then push it to the left because the auxiliary jack is somewhat in a position that you may get trapped to the uh, back cover. So you do not want to lift it up in a way that might damage the um, auxiliary jack. Alright, very straightforward. This is the entire internal part of the MSI laptop and all you have to do is just to slot the RAM into the computer. Um, do I need to disconnect the battery? Well, if you want to disconnect, it's very simple. You just simply uh, push down, uh, slide it down towards yourself. The connector is just, just there. But it is not necessary because the computer is already turned off. I'll just do it without disconnecting the battery. Now here is the DDR4 slot. Make sure that you want to match the gap. The gap has to match along with the slot right here. You can't do it on this way because you can see that the gap doesn't match with the slot. So turn it around, match it. You want to slide it in at 45 degree angle in a way that slide in and then use the middle 
part of the ram, um, the ram and push it down. You can you see the two side clipper here, the two metal clipper? It clips on it. So when it clips on, you hear that little click, then it secure the ram and it's all good to go. Well, do I need to do a configuration to um, set up to edit the RAM? The answer is no, there's no configuration needed. All you have to do is just slide it in and install. The computer would automatically recognize 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now to reinstall the back cover, I like to start from the auxiliary bracket here. So kind of hold it to a corner, slide it in in a way that it match. Okay. You want to push it all the way in before you want to close the rest of it. I don't think it's the right way to um, to to snap it in because it does look like you have to slide it into a corner first and then go from there. I'm not sure why do they need to make such a difficult um, auxiliary jack on the corner once you touch the thing is sitting flush then you can press it down on all sides of the corners and then finish up with the remaining screws right here and that should be it all right i just want to point out something really quickly if you um not sure where to buy the ram please check Please check the link down description below. I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can um, find exactly the RAM that is compatible with the laptop and, uh, and you can just get it and upgrade to 16 gigabytes. I believe the laptop can go up to 32, meaning that you can get 16 and 16 and push it all the way to 32 gigs of RAM. All right, hope this video is helpful. And again, if you do find it helpful, please go ahead and smash the like button for me. I really appreciate you for smashing the like button. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks for supporting my work and my channel. And again, until next time. Bye now.